So he rocks up to my house. Uh, these are processed by James at Meat Solutions, where I get my meat done, and also sausages, and three rolls of posse yum. This rooster over here. G'day, how you going? That's Thomas. Can someone tell me what STMS is? I'm trying to decide what it means. Thomas has been telling me all about his job as a fisherman. What's the name of the boat you're on, mate? Uh, the Enterprise. Oh, you're on the Enterprise. Yeah, a massive boat, and he's been telling me how they process all the fish on board and how many ton they process. So how much do you come back with after a fishing trip? Well, we last trip was about 553 ton we came back with last oh, trip. Shit. So yeah, she, um, yeah, she holds quite a bit. What would the value in that be in money? That was about 6.8 million. 6.8 million. million? Yeah. So he was saying that they all the fish guts that gets put in a hot press and made to meal. Everything's processed on board, nothing goes over the side. Half an hour from the fish being caught, it has its fillets taken off with a machine, the hokey, or the ling, does that too? No, we hand fill it the ling. Yeah, okay. So I used to work on the hokey line in Sea Lords when I was a kid, well, a teenager, and they have a machine that does it all on that boat. Yeah, Bloody so amazing. So everything's processed on board, and yeah, nothing, yeah. Yeah, nothing's discarded. There was a bad accident, uh, Logan, if you're watching this Logan, I hope you're healing up well mate, he got caught up in the net, well, got, the net came down top of him, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, uh, really injured his, his leg, snapped in two places, and uh, what, a, what a terrible thing to happen on board, and he got flown out in a helicopter, so it's a dangerous job, forestry and fishing are probably the two most dangerous jobs in New Zealand, um, as a young man, I said to him, this is the most productive years of your life, make sure you salt the money away, You'll never ever make money like this when you get older. The other thing is, I said to him is, choose your partner carefully, because New Zealand uh, marital laws now, which aren't even marital laws, if you're in a relationship with a person uh, for more than two years, they can claim half of everything that you've got. That's a sexual relationship, we talk about not just a friend. Um, and a lot of young men get caught out, they work hard ass for years and years doing a job like he's doing, meet someone who's got nothing, break up, next minute, they take half everything you've got. Unreal. It's a crazy law, it's not a just law. Uh, I could understand if the wife was contributing to looking after children and everything, but two, two years after a relationship, so I've been giving him a bit of a father-son talk on that. Choose your friends carefully and choose your, your wife even more carefully. Advice. Ideally, someone who's got the same amount of equity as you. <laughs> it's a terrible law because it stops people having relationships. Tell you she's in trouble. She's stuck. She can't go any further. Oh, she's starting to move again. No, she's all caught up. She's tangled up in the blackberry. You want to come up here with the big guns? So we come. You're good at camouflaging yourself, dog, but you need to come up here. So Tilly's job is working at the Wakefield Homestead as a comfort dog for the elderly residents there. Not going in the bush. And you're not even tangled in thick stuff, mate. Hey? Eh? You see, you wanted to leave Nurse Margaret and come out with me and the big guns. You're not even tangled. What are you just doing stopping there? I'm not picking you up. Come on, you can walk. Tilly, come. Come on. Come on. A toilet brush. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I thought there was a, a problem. You weren't even tangled. You're just giving up. Come on. You can stay on the truck for the rest of this hunt. We'll go back to the truck. Come on. She was just being a little princess. She was fine. She wasn't even tangled or anything. Get a lot worse than this. Come on, Tilly. Try going through this stuff. She's actually a lovely dog. Got a really nice nature. Clearly, she's not a pig dog. God knows what happened if we actually got onto a pig. Probably should. She'd probably catch the pig by the pig getting her mouth and choking on her like a, a sort of a furball. Oh, here was this mushroom down here. I'm always interested in mushrooms in the forest. What have we got down here? Is it an edible? Or is it a trippy one? Oh, there's another one underneath it too. Well, things with gills, I tend to stare away with unless I know exactly what they are. So I'll say, nah. If anybody can identify what that is, let me know please because I'm interested. We just got Pace back in. The temperature now is about 13 degrees. It's dropped quite a bit outside, nice and cool, but Pace has got run off his feet. That pig gave him a good run, didn't it, Pace? 
Not surprising. It was just horrible in the road, Thomas. Yes, but um, bloody pig. Yeah. Right. That pig uh, got away. We never got him back. No, we'll carry on. She doesn't understand this glass between her and the trees. Look. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Can you get them, girl? She thinks they're snakes. Funny dog, is she? Well, the knows what time it is. Just be cool, go through all that. Poe, look at Poe moving around, dodging all the branches. She knows where she's going. That's the one, Poe. Probably doesn't want to go through all these bushes up here. She knows what's ahead. It's alright, someone you'll get them. Poe's not in the thick of it now. That's how he's trying to attack everyone. <laughs> so the dogs have been hunting about three hours, so they're going to get a wee bit of fuel. It's like a biscuit. It's also a little bit of incentive for Bigsy to jump up into the truck because he's a little bit uh, hesitant of getting back up. Called bribery. Possium. What do you feed your dog, bro? Possium. Oh, yep. There we go. It's a wee snack. Don't want to run out of that stuff. You want to ride with me, Pace? Hey? You can go in the back with Tilly. Get up, Pace. Up. Pace in the back. Pace in the back. Not the front. In the back. Good boy. Got all three dogs up in here, quite keen, doing a bit of a circle. I recognise those boots, mate. Mate, Mendel's forestry boots. That's the same boots I think that George had? Yeah, yeah they are the same ones. I noticed them on the on your clip the other yeah. day. Yeah, so did you yeah. use those here when you went to forestry or were you working as a tree uh, fella? Yeah, no, I did. Yep, I used these. Yeah? Bloody good. What were you doing? What job were you doing? Um, I was uh, ground beef for most of the time. Oh yeah. Got into a bit of climbing. Oh yeah. But uh, that's what they are specifically for is um getting the getting the grip on trees when you're climbing up. Oh yeah. Yeah that's what George had, eh? Yeah they're quite heavy but I'm used to them now. What does a pair of those costs boy? Ah uh, worth about eight hundred bucks a pair. Shit. Jeez, you got big feet mate. Yeah. Well you know they say big feet, big personality. So Bigsy's riding with Thomas. Tilly the toilet brush is down here somewhere. Bows in the back with pace. Wider than the truck and not the dog box. Because Thomas and me are soft. <laughs> and we love dogs and no, they've done an incredible hunt. So we had a long drawn out hunt. There's no pig on the back of the truck, but it was a lot of fun. We uh, pulled up a pig god knows how many times and it broke. Just with Poe and Bigsy Pace pulled the pin, he was, he was buggered. They gave it a, a really gallant effort for hours and hours, literally, oh eh, mate? Yeah, definitely. And how many kilometres did they do? I don't know. Miles, but man. Miles and miles. We've all done a lot of uh, footwork. Thomas has torched around the bush, lucky he had an emergency one on his walkie talkie. Um, I had a backup one, but it was a pretty, pretty full on hunt. I've got to say, I enjoyed it, but it would have been nice to have caught that pig because we only had one other pig today which we got onto, which was so tight. That, that smoked the dogs, and had they caught it, we never would have got to it anyway. Hey, yeah, not in that spot. So it's just been a really challenging day hunting. We're out there doing it, and that's all that matters as far as I'm concerned. We hunted Pace yesterday, and he got onto a good pig, and it beat him up. He's been beaten up twice in a row now. No, no actual uh, hooks. I'd say it was either a, a boar that had no hooks on it or a big sow. But he's sore this morning again, and. Uh, I notice he's also peed all over his front legs because he's not peeing properly. He's not cocking his leg because he's hurt himself. He was fine, wasn't he, when we started hunting him? Yeah. So Good he got knocked around yesterday. He ran for miles yesterday and then suddenly we come back off this pig and he can't even walk properly this morning. Pace come. Come on, mate. 
Place gum. Place gum. Looks like the front end. I'm going to put you in your kennel, mate. You're not getting a walk this morning. He looks happy, but I reckon he's he's, he's hurting. He's not right. Hey, you boy, eh? Hey? You okay, Pace? Come on, Pace. He wants to stay by Damo's house there. Damo's not home, mate. He's at church today, so you're not getting a feed. Pace, come. Thomas is going to give him a give him a, a free ride. The dogs chased that pig for about three hours in total yesterday. Went kilometres and kilometres. Pace came back after only about 20 minutes. And um, he came back not happy, so he got a knock. I think he just to rest up in his his box a couple of days would be the one. Thanks, bud. Put him in his kennel. Cheers, Thank Thomas. Thomas is great with dogs. Really good. Ah, uh, the kennel, bro. This in here is Pace. Yep, that's Pace here. Yep. Give him a feed in a minute. A bit of a lump on you too there, Bigsy. They had a big day yesterday. Mm -hmm. All for no pork. Two pigs got away. I was looking forward to going hunting and taking Thomas because he's a seasoned hunter. And I've been taking out young guys that don't have a clue about hunting the last few weeks. And I really was frustrated with myself because right now my health isn't 100% although it's getting better and I couldn't go down to the bay like I normally would and the speed I normally would uh, so when we got onto a pig yesterday the first one we got onto was impossible for the dogs to, it was in such a thick place even if the dogs had stopped it we never would have got it it was just so tight hey eh, mate yeah. you couldn't walk under it you couldn't walk through it oh it was yeah and it probably wasn't a, that big a pig but the second pig was a cracker and you could tell by the just when the dogs hit it and pace always goes too hard he fights the pig eh? Yeah. and now he's like paid the price he's bruised uh, if it doesn't come right I'll take him to the vet but I think just a, a day's rest will do it he probably needs an antihistamine just to get the inflammation down more than anything because he was actually walking okay last night he just was slow but he knew himself that he'd done his dash so that pig yesterday it just went for kilometres and kilometres and eventually we uh, we had to try and get the dogs back in. It was late at night. What was supposed to be a, a morning hunt became a get back home at uh, 10 o'clock at night hunt. I can see the roof is off the duck shelter and that would explain why there's been black back gulls down here. They've probably been poaching the eggs off that duck that's sitting on eggs right now. The ducks are coming to me for a feed. They greet me. Until he's going to regret the ducks. What's she going to do here? Tilly, get him behind. Oh, she doesn't know that command, I forget. Tilly, out of there. That shouldn't be like that at all. I don't know why that's like that. Tilly, get out of there. Well, the eggs have been covered up, so they're okay still. And they're still warm. I don't know why that, how that came off even. It doesn't normally come off. The wind could get underneath it, but we didn't have any wind. Mate's getting a feed. Oh, Poe, you've got stuff in your eyes still. I'll just give it a clean. No, oh, give me another clean. Fuck him. Come here, Poe. You too tired? Fuck him here. Come here. Oh, you've done a big day. You're sore, aren't you, babe? We're not going to hunt you this afternoon. Let's get this gook out of your eye, eh? Get under all that bush and all that stuff there. There we go. Look better. A little bit tidier. You didn't go through much bush yesterday, did you? Mate, you're a handy dog to wipe my hands on. Yes, you are. I might keep you just for wiping my hands on, yeah. Is that better, Poe? Is that better? Good girl. Mum duck's going back in there. To her house. I'm glad none of the eggs got taken. I was lucky. Dogs are always so chill after a day's hunting. Mum and duck just preening herself before she goes back on her eggs. Hopefully we'll have a success this time. It'll be the first if we do. Down the 
grass over there just chilling. It's having subscribers that pick up your mistakes that really helps. Thank you whoever it was. That month was the 9th of the 9th of 22. Okay, here we go. I know for a fact that one's got holes on the bottom of it. And you can go on top of there. Little like a water tree. And this one can go on the top. Put the curtain open. So there's a bit of breeze coming through. You can see why we need to rebuild this house, can't you? Hmm, probably growing mushrooms in there. Right, how's this going to work? That's a bit better. I'll just open this up and um, look. There's a little, uh, is that growing there? Just on there, a little water. That's cool. Okay, I'll give these guys a bit of water. That's great, if it is growing there. Go back and check that in a few days. My mate Firewood Matt dropped this wood off a couple of years ago. It's been out in the weather for a couple of years. So I reckon it could probably handle another two or three years in the, in the weather. We can make our planter box out of that. <laughs> Almost too good for firewood, isn't it? It's done very well for two years, just lying there. One down, three to go. Done. Well that didn't take too long, there's a planter box for uh, lettuce, I'll put lettuce in there. There's some coffee grounds to put in there. Hey, you're back at your peak in here are you? Gonna throw in another couple of bags of coffee grounds into here, maybe three. Hundreds and hundreds of coffees people have had, sitting there on the wharf in Mapur, watching the Mapur Ferry. Very people across the Rabbit Island where they talk about their family, or friends, or jobs, or new good. baby, or new disease they just found out they've got all over a coffee. Something very satisfying about doing this, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I'm using something that's uh, recycling. A potting mix up there. Tomorrow we've got a storm coming, which is good, a lot of rain. And that rain is gonna work all that stuff I put on the top, all the natural fertilizer, the chicken poo, the duck poo, the seaweed, broken down sheep poo, the shavings, everything which is in that is gonna break down and go through the potting mix and the coffee grounds. It's all gonna work up with, the, with nature. I'm starting to dribble out my nose because it's cold. But that'll give me a really good base to plant my lettuces. I've got some wee lettuces that'll be ready in about three or four days, so timing wise, we could I'll put them in. I'll put a net over the top, keep the birds out. I might try putting some eggshells in there, keep the slugs off. I might try putting a dish of uh, beer, like some of you have said. And I might try a number of things and section it off and see which works the best. Do we experiment at the same time because it's an enclosed area, relatively close. Slugs can crawl up over the side and go in there, but interesting to see what works the best. Hey that's my video today guys, uh, just the last couple of days, the weekend. I hope you had a good weekend, be good, can't be good, be careful and I'll see you in the next Clay Tool Stories video. And thanks a lot for subscribing to the channel, okay, see you later. Right, time to feed dogs.
until he's getting a peck in the bum by <laughs> Super Duck. And Ducky's over there and Tilly's bailed up for my Super Duck. Oh, got him on the truck now. Okay, have a good one. See you later. Bye.